Hey everyone, in this video I will teach you how you can shorten your home mortgage loan by 11 years out of 30 years with no additional income. The art of doing this is in rearranging how you pay your expenses and using leverage you most likely are not aware of. Welcome to High School Dropouts Advice. If you need subtitles, please click on the CC button. Usually it takes up to two hours after uploading for the subtitles to appear. I also have a link to my Discord channel in my description where you can get directly in touch with me with questions and video topic ideas. I want to get straight into it today. So let us use an example here. Your income is 4000 and your mortgage is close to 1200 with a loan amount of 250,000. Your expense per month are 2500 and you decide to save $300 per month. Then you need some leverage. It can be a HELOC which is a home equity line of credit where your property is acting as a credit card. If you don't have it, don't worry, you can use your credit card as well. You might know that you can use your credit card to get cash in advance. This is what a line of credit means. In our example, your line of credit is 1200. So you take out 1200 in cash and I want to show you what will happen if you use it to pay it towards your principal. Wait a minute. Many people would say this is stupid because the interest rate on the credit card for a cash advance is around 25% per year and your mortgage rate interest rate is at 4%. This is partly correct, but most people don't understand the structure and payment schedule. Many don't know that the total amount of interest will be different from $1,200 with 25% interest than 4% interest of a mortgage of a $250,000 loan. Most people will just think using a 25% interest to save a 4% interest is stupid. Let me explain to you what real estate mortgages do. You see the green chart. This is a time frame over 30 years. You also see the principal in orange. You know or you can see that you are paying your loan's interest in an advanced fashion. So the mortgage company wants you to pay a big chunk of the interest up front of a loan and increase your principal just by a bit. This is super unfair. This means if you sell your house in the first couple of years, you will not have much equity in your home at all. All you did was paying the mortgage interest of the future. Let me show you this. You see that you are paying $360.21 in principle, but your interest is more than two times as much. You are paying $833.33 in interest. You thought 4% is a cheap interest, but when you realize that your monthly payment contains more interest than the principal, you realize that it's not as affordable as you thought. Let me explain to you how a credit card works. If you use a credit card with $2,000 and you pay $1,000 within the billing cycle, which is one month, it will go straight to the principal amount you owe, which is $2,000. So your new balance is $1,000. An interest of 25% per year will be added, which is $250 per year, but you only had the amount for one month. So the 250 get divided by 12, which is $20.83, which get added to your $1,000. If you can pay it off next month, then all you paid is $20.83 for using 2000, which got paid with 1000 in the first month and the rest in the second. It's very different from a loan mortgage where they want you to pay the interest first. Now that you understand this principle, we will use this knowledge to build another dynamic in our loan schedule. I told you in the beginning that we are using a $250,000 loan with a 4% interest. 
the life of the loan will be 30 years. The total interest you would pay at the end of 30 years will be $179,673.77. Now we are changing the dynamic and use our line of credit to create leverage. You remember the $1,200 you can pull out. So I want you to pull out that and put it in the principles. This is how it will look like. Your monthly payments are $1,193.54. But now you are putting another $1,200 in your payment, which goes directly into the principal. This is a good thing that the mortgage company allows you to pay extra additional payments going to the principal. Now, I want you to have a look at this. This is how your line of credit looks like. In the first month, you took $1,200 to pay your mortgage. Now you will use $300 in savings per month to pay the credit card. You do this for four months. You will end up having another line of credit of $1,200, which you again use for the mortgage. Then you are paying it off for four months again and you repeat this the whole time. This will be the end results. You would have only paid $104,154.85 in interest in 223 months. In other words, 18.58 years. You remember you would have paid $179,673.77 in interest and you would need 360 months. You saved 11.41 years and $75,518.92 in interest just by rearranging your payments. You might say, wait a minute, how much interest did we have to pay for the credit card? Let me show you the schedule again. The range we owe the bank is constantly 0 to 1,200, so we can agree that we will owe the bank roughly $650 on average per year because remember we get charged interest each month. Assuming we have 25% interest, the math will be 650 multiplied by 25% will be $162.50 per year in interest. We do this for 18.58 years. So this will be 18.58 multiplied by $162.50, which will be $3,019.25. Not bad using $3,019 to save $75,518. This is something which most people can create. And if you don't have savings, then please create one saving stream. Maybe cancel few memberships you don't need. Call and ask if your phone bill can be reduced or your utility prices like the internet can get a discount. You will be surprised what couple phone calls can save you. I'm pretty sure you can create this $300 in saving. If you tried everything and could not save it, I would say try to consume less because that missing $300 costs you $75,518 over 18.58 years. Of course, you can argue with me and say you would save the $300 every month and you would put it in the SP500, which gives you 10% interest on average over the history of the SP500. Then your finance will look like this. You will have made $118,014 in interest, which is more than the savings of the interest costs. But I know that many homeowners want to pay off their home they live in soon as possible. So they have peace of mind that no one can kick them out when they retire. I understand this way of thinking, but this way is not the most profitable. What I showed you also work for car loans or any other type of loans. It will help you to shorten the period of the loan duration and save you a lot of interest. Nice. But if you are able to save money and invest money, then it usually beats the interest cost of your loan. But if you have a large credit card debt, then I suggest you 
to fix that first because of your credit score. You don't want 25% interest compounding year over year, which then really kills you. Not even investing in Amazon with the same amount can help you. I hope that you learned something from this video. Anyways, I have to say for legal reasons, I am not a financial advisor. Please take all the information here as entertainment value only. The numbers and the math I took are only based on this example and I could have made mistakes. So hire a financial advisor and remember your money is your responsibility. Do your own due diligence. If you like my content, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you hopefully in the next video. Thank you. Bye.